So we're going to do a little bit of um, drawing from observation. So this is where drawing gets really interesting and where um, you really have a chance to sort of work with your mind. You know, when you're drawing from observation, um, there is an intention to draw, you know, whatever that object or subject is. Um, but can you just, can you let yourself, um, can you let yourself be a little free and easy with how and what that object wants to look like with the kind of drawing you want to end up coming up with? You know, and it could be in the end, maybe the, maybe the thing doesn't even show up on your page, but it provided some sort of launch pad. And so when, you know, when we're drawing from life, from observing something, you really want to think about drawing what you see and not what you know. In art school, this almost became like a cliche. It was said so much. But it's just this idea that you're, you're really observing, you're, you're sort of taking the time to really look and to respond, to look and respond, to look and respond. And when you're drawing or painting, it's just a back and forth of this looking and responding, looking and responding. And you don't want to get stuck anywhere. You don't want to spend too much time looking. You don't want to spend too much time responding in the sense that you're looking at what you're doing and saying, oh my God, this looks like fill in the blank. So your eyes should almost never be still. They should be going up to the thing, down to the page, up to the thing, down to the page, up, down. Just back and forth, back and forth. And it's interesting. It, it kind of like, it, it, it can kind of take your mind offline a little bit. You know, because you're literally interrupting your vision every, you know, maybe more than once a second, looking, responding, looking, responding. And so what you're going to do is just set up, um, set up your thing and in a place you can see it. Start with a fresh page and we're going to, so I'm going to time these because I don't want us to get too stuck. We're just going to, we're going to do multiples. And we're just going to draw the same object a handful of times. We're going to start with five minutes. Uh, we'll do at least one for five minutes. Maybe we'll do two five minute ones. And then as we go along, we're going to shorten the time less and less each round. So as you're drawing, look, respond, look, respond, you know, just play with it because the point here is not to make a photograph. If you want a photograph, pull out your phone and shoot a photograph. <laughs> this is about learning to respond, learning to take a chance on yourself to see what what you can come up with. <clears throat> you know, and this is where the, the playing and experimenting with Mark with, with your material becomes really important because now you have this whole, you're loose, you have this whole range of possible uh, lines and marks and textures that you can create. So put those to use in your drawing. Don't get stuck just making one kind of line all right, we're starting now. And you might notice if, if you do this enough times, there's a really um, kind of specific feeling when you've stopped observing and responding and you've started judging and deciding how it's going. Things start to close down, you get a little frustrated And in those moments, just keep going, but maybe change things up. Maybe hold your material a different way um, or grab a different material, grab a different color, 
um, maybe switch the pace of the marks you're making, maybe try moving a little faster. You know, something I've been um, paying attention to a lot of myself, drawing from observation, you know, it, everybody's mind works a little differently. And, and, you know, some of us are able to, um, you know, some of us take in a scene, an object in different ways. We respond to different, um, you know, different things. Like you might notice if it's, if it's the light and the shadow and the contrast that's catching your eye more, and you can maybe just focus there. Um, you know, maybe work with um, larger area, just with, with like shapes of um, shapes of color. You know, sort of blocking out areas where there's shadow or where there's highlights. Um, sometimes it's the contour, it's the line, um, it's the texture. You know, and so you can just work a lot with different kinds of lines, different kinds of mark. Um, sometimes it's just interesting to almost sculpt the, the thing you're drawing with your material, you know, almost sort of imagining you're making a sculpture and you're kind of working around it. Almost like you can get into its 3D quality with your material. A lot of artists will do this, like drawing around something, so you kind of get a sense of its dimensionality. Back and forth, keep your eyes moving. All right, good, Time, time's up on that one. So let's switch to a fresh surface. And uh, you can leave your object just as it is, or if you'd like, you could turn it if you want to try a new angle. And then uh, let's do another, uh, let's do another five minute one. So go ahead and start. This time, really let yourself make a few mistakes. You know, this is a piece of paper and some powdery substance that you're working with. It's, there's nothing important about it. I remember another drawing class where the teacher just went on and on about preciousness and how preciousness was just killed, killed your artwork. You know, and this idea that, you know, you should really have this attitude that you can just crumple it up and throw it away, that it's, 
it's not some lasting thing to hang in a museum for all time. You know, it's not that you might not create something wonderful, but you know, the attitude in making it isn't one of something that you can't make a mistake on. And I think the point is that that attitude prevents you from taking any risks, keeps things a little too safe. You're not really willing to just show, show your hand. Again, if you find yourself getting a little stuck or frustrated or uh, thinking what you're doing is really great or that it really sucks, just change it up. Try, uh, try a different way of making mark. Try playing with Try playing with some bold, fast strokes. You know, really, really let yourself be a little expressive. Don't be afraid of contrast. there's areas of um, dark or shadow in what you're drawing, see if you can really, see how dark you can make that. How deep can those shadows be? Okay, time's up for that one. Pull out a fresh, fresh sheet. Let's get fresh. And we're gonna take this down to four minutes. So just considering, you know, you don't have all day here. Time just got shorter, so um, You know, keep that in mind. It, uh, let yourself be a little more expressive. See how quickly you can get that initial gesture of what you're drawing, whether it's the shape or the movement or the energy. All right, go ahead and start.
If you happen to like what you're doing right now, you might consider just wiping it all out and starting fresh on top of it. Or maybe not starting fresh, but continuing your drawing over your old one. But only if you really like it. All right, awesome. Good job. Time's up on that one. All right. All right, so uh, we're going to do another four minutes. Um, but I want you to spend the first minute, and I'll time this, just looking at what you're doing, Look, just looking at the object. Um, spend that minute looking and see what's compelling about it. See what's interesting, just really like put your attention on it, take it in. Just see what you notice when you're really just looking. So we're going to start for one minute just looking and then we'll spend another three minutes after that drawing. Is there anything in the object that just calls to you? Is there anything you actually really want to draw? Is there anything about it you want to try to capture or get closer to? Is there anything you're curious about looking at your object? All right, then taking all that, start your drawing. And try to respond to anything that you felt compelled by or interest in it. This might be a good time to try switching up how you're holding your material.
All right, time's up on that one. Excellent. All right, we're going to keep it going. This is like a drawing workout. Just wait till we get to the two minute, one minute ones. It's going to be like, I was thinking of calling it speed dating for drawing. So uh, I'm just going to offer a couple um, uh, ways to, to approach um, or different um, tools you can use when you're working on, um, on drawing, um, especially when you're trying to draw something from, from life or observation. One thing to consider is negative space. And so this is kind of talking about the space around or between something. So, um, you know, if I hold up this rock, the negative space is the space all around the rock, everything but the rock. Um, you might have something that's more complicated. Like if you look at the shelf behind me, you could look at the negative space as the space uh, sort of between the shelves, that sort of empty space between the objects and the shelves. So that can be kind of helpful, just a different way of looking. So you're not so fixated on the thing itself, but you're really kind of taking in uh, the whole range of what, what, what your eye is, is perceiving. Um, so working a bit with negative space. Um, you can also uh, try working with um, contour. And you can um, initially, as you begin a drawing, um, almost like trying to just follow Follow the contour. There, there is a whole technique called con blind contour drawing, where you're not looking at your page and you're just following the outline of something. But, um, you know, just kind of initially finding your way around it. Um, you can find your way into sort of all the little details. Like maybe if you have an avocado, you might start with something, make a quick outline, and then kind of go in and work on some of the little dents and divots. So those might just be a couple ways of, of, of working with what you're observing. All right, so four minutes, go ahead and start. Remember to keep your eyes moving.
All right, great job. I'm going to elaborate on this, um, these ideas of negative space and contour a little bit more. So just to sort of illustrate, um, say I had a leaf that I was drawing. If I wanted to work with negative space, I might just begin by just sort of drawing the space around the leaf. So there's a little bit of contour in there, but I'm mainly, I'm sort of looking at, I'm paying the most attention to the space around it, or there might be like a big hole in the middle, and I'm looking at the, you know, the sort of space in between rather than the lines, the outlines, the contour itself. So this can be really helpful, especially when you're looking at something that maybe seems a little confusing. You know, you kind of, short circuit your brain a little bit, you stop trying to draw the thing and you're drawing the space instead. All right, you ready for three minutes? Let's do it. Also in these three, the three minute drawings, I want you to try making contact with all edges of your page within the first 10 seconds. So look and sort of build, build your whole composition at once. You know, it can just be very light marks, but really sort of filling that page up, touching each side. Push yourself to be a little more expressive. How much can you capture in this time? All right, last few seconds to make some really big mistakes. All right, time. Okay, we're gonna do one more three minute drawing and just uh, elaborating a little bit more on what I said right before we started that one. So um, thinking of the whole page right off the bat. So I have a rock in front of me and you know, the rock, I mean, if I just look at the rock, it kind of just looks like that. But you know, I have this whole page I'm working with. So you know, when you're working observationally, you want to kind of take in everything. And, you know, even if you're not putting mark down, you know, get 
get to the edges of the page with your pencil or your material, you know, so here's the rock and there's like a shadow coming down there and there's like a little another shadow over there, there's a edge of a surface up here, there's a little splotch down here, you know, so you just kind of let your um, let your mind loosely start to build the composition just with what you're saying. All right, here we go, three minutes. Keep it loose, keep it fresh. If you don't like how it's going, it's no problem. We'll get to do another one in two minutes. All right, time's up. The masterpiece is complete. <clears throat> All right, just a couple more. We're going to um, we're going to do a couple two minute drawings, um, and so I just want to touch on gesture a little bit. When we're talking about gesture, we're really thinking about the movement, the sort of energy, the weight. Um, you know, if I'm thinking of an avocado, um, you know, there just might be, the, you know, anything can have a gesture to it, you know, and it might be like a very, might be a very like dark, heavy line to capture that weight at the bottom and then something lighter as we come to the top. Um, so it's almost like how do you capture movement, uh, weight, energy in the mark you're making with your material. Um, so play with that for the next couple drawings. Um, really see if you can get um, if you can get gestural with your material. Um, all right, you ready? Two minutes starting now.
Really push those gestural marks, see if you can really capture something of the movement. See if your mark can have an energetic quality to it. All right, time's up. Whew. Breaking a sweat just watching this. All right, we're going to do one more. Uh, one more two-minute drawing. Um, you know, I want you to just put, just take any idea of drawing the object out of your head. Just respond. Just pure response you're not trying to draw anything you just look you have it you have a th something that's fixing your attention you're looking at that thing but it's really just responding in how you work with your material um, play with the gesture play with the energy and the life of the thing you're looking at all right, ready? Two minutes. Go. This is just a vehicle for your imagination. You don't need to make anything perfect. How expressive can those marks be? All right, good job. Sweet, that was a lot of drawing. Everybody feel good? All right, well, um, that's about all I have for today. Well, thanks everybody, it's awesome. All right, have a great day everyone.